Well, guys, it's official. At UFC 279, a five-round main event will take place between two of the most polarizing figures in the sport. You have the Chechen Wolf in the undefeated fighter at 11-0 in Hamzat Borz Chemaev going up against the master of the Stockton Slap and the formidable king of the 209 in Nate Diaz. Now, I'll be the first to say that Diaz versus Chemaev when it comes to you know, MMA purists, MMA casuals, and just MMA matchmaking in general, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I don't think there's anybody here that's going to say that this fight makes sense with the current standings in the UFC's rankings, and especially in that 170-pound welterweight division. Chemayev is ranked number three after going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the former welterweight title challenger in Gilbert Dorino Burns. Now, that was the fight where I think we finally were able to see a little bit of a chink in the armor of Hamzat Chemayev and where he actually looked human for once in his UFC career because before that, he walked through everybody and barely took any strikes in four fights in the promotion. He went up against Gilbert Burns, did drop him with a southpaw jab, which Kamaru Usman dropped him with in their title fight as well. But he did get hit, he did get dropped as well, and they went back and forth. It showed that Hamzat can go back and forth with some of the best in the division. It showed that he can overcome adversity, and it showed that even though he might not be this unstoppable force and immovable object that people may have thought he was, he knows how to dig down deep and really dig into the trenches to be able to come out on top in a back and forth struggle during an MMA contest. That's something that some top guys can't get through, and once it starts to go down, the wheels fall off and the train falls off the tracks and everything goes up into a puff of smoke. But Chemayev showed that he can come back from adversity and continue to push forward and push the pace for as long as he needs to. And against a veteran as durable as Nate Diaz, who's probably the most durable fighter on the UFC roster, he's definitely going to need to be able to push through some adversity. But do we really know that 100% for fact? Chemayev could come out in this fight against Diaz, land a few shots to the body, chop him with some low kicks, and immediately shoot it on his hips and take him down to the ground. Diaz has always had issues with people who could fight at a distance in point fight, but could also get in his face, get to the legs, get in on the hips, and take Diaz down and work from the top position. He has amazing jiu-jitsu, a jiu-jitsu black belt, and some of the best submissions in the sport which he showcased against the former double champ in the notorious Conor McGregor and one of the biggest upsets in MMA history at UFC 196. Could Diaz come in here and upset Chemayev, hand him his first professional defeat, and send the MMA world ablaze just like he likes to set those joints ablaze when he lights it up after he wins or loses? That's the Diaz culture and that's something that the Diaz brothers are always going to be known for. But if Chemayev got defeated by Nate Diaz and Diaz was able to come in and get one of the biggest wins of his entire career, it would not only set the fans and the MMA world ablaze, but it would also set Dana White back a few steps in his promotional roadmap to get Chemayev to the title belt. Because if Diaz beats Chemayev, whether it's by a fluky submission or by being able to push the pace more than the Chechen fighter can himself, and eventually locking up a submission or landing enough volume on the feet to drown Chemayev under the pressure, it's definitely something that, you know, Dana White would not want to have to deal with. And it would line Diaz up for a title fight if Leon Edwards was to get past Kamaru Usman. If Usman loses the title to Leon Edwards and Nate Diaz goes out and defeats Hamzat Chemayev in two of the biggest upsets of the year, we're looking at a potential Diaz versus Edwards 2 where yes, Diaz did get outclassed for the entirety of the fight like we already talked about. But he got the quintessential Nate Diaz style of victory where he rocked Leon Edwards with that 1-2 or 3-2 and had him on shaky legs at the end of the fifth round. The story is there. The fight and everything that we want in this fight is already on the table if these two upsets were to occur back to back. I'm not necessarily going to sit here and say that Nate Diaz is going to beat Chemayev, but if he was able to pull it off, you know, when it comes to Nate Diaz, I wouldn't be completely surprised. But what do I expect to occur in this fight? I expect Chemayev to push forward, fake some shots up top, take Nate Diaz down, work from the top position, ground and pound his face into the mat, and just continue to beat him into a bloody pulp until either he locks up a submission, which I don't believe he'll be able to submit a jiu-jitsu black belt in the man who's as credentialed on the mat as Diaz, or he lands enough shots 
and the ref pulls him off. I see a brutal finish here for Hamzat Shemaev, improving the 12-0 and knocking on the door to 170 pound title shot after this dominant win. I expect this to be complete and utter dominance, but I do think there will be some moments in the fight where Diaz may be able to come through adversity, land some good shots on the feet, potentially that one, two from the southpaw stance, and, you know, expose some more of the defensive flaws that we saw exposed for Chemayev in the Gilbert Burns fight. I'm excited for this fight, but it's definitely not the first choice I would have made. I think that Chemayev versus Covington, and maybe a Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor 3, or Nate Diaz versus, I don't know, somebody like a Jorge Masvidal again, would be the next step for his career. But that's not what they did, and they're going to give them a five-round main event. Can Chemayev push for five rounds? We don't know yet. And if anybody's going to be able to test that gas tank, it's going to be the man with some of the best cardio in the world when it comes to mixed martial arts in Nate Diaz. Durability, cardio, volume, and pressure versus smash from Hamzat Shemaev. Come UFC 279, all the fans are going to be tuned in and glued to the screen. And whether the hardcore MMA purists are completely pissed off that this fight is going down because it doesn't quote-unquote make sense, they're going to be tuning in just like the casuals. And when it comes down to it, I'm excited for the fight. I know anybody who clicked on this video is excited for the fight. But Nate Diaz, in my opinion, is just one thing. The UFC's sacrificial lamb to their new top star and undefeated prospect and potential undefeated title contender in Chemayev. The last fight on his UFC contract could either be the biggest FU to Dana White or the biggest bloodbath in defeat for the Stockton Gangster.